Welcome back everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Today we are speaking about uh, one of the very oldest food preservation methods. Uh, so lots of questions about um, eating seasonally and looking at what our ancestors ate. So humans definitely did before in time have some preservation methods for their food and didn't necessarily have to eat everything in season. Uh, we take this to the extreme today, of course, with all the chemicals and preservatives we put in the food, but even in ancient times, they did have methods of preservation. Salting and drying are a couple of the very oldest ones. Uh, also, another very old one that we're speaking about here is lye, or sodium hydroxide is its chemical compound. It's basically uh, burnt ashes from a tree or logs or uh, whatever. We don't know exactly how long lye has been used for food making, but we do know that it was used in soaps almost 5,000 years ago in Babylon. So they had some knowledge of using the lye to have cleanliness something. Maybe they, uh, uh, before they knew what bacteria was, they thought it was a disease or some nasty growth going on in a food. So that's how they uh, related the two. So the chemical compound in the ashes, lye can also be used for preserving food. Here are some of the dishes uh, that it was traditionally used for, the Norwegian lutefisk, uh, pretzels from Germany, uh, olives from southern Europe, old Chinese uh, mooncakes, century eggs, and even some noodles and lots of other things in Chinese uh, uh, diets were made with live water, bagels, a very old Jewish recipe, uh, hominy from Spain and South America, and very much more. Lye is very useful for times and places especially where salt wasn't readily available to dry things or maybe uh, the climate there was too humid and uh, to dry food, so lye would be a good option in those places. So try it out. Do you guys know any good recipes with lye? Uh, just be very careful if you use too much lye with certain foods. It can make it inedible because uh, the pH uh, levels get way too high. Uh, so definitely seek the help of a professional if you are going to try it yourself.